from. Oh. Customers coming in and interrupting me. Um, but yeah, you guys like that? Me getting pulled over? It happens all the time. Anytime I go out of town, I can do 100 miles an hour through town. Never have a problem. Get on the open highway, my lead foot gets to, to getting out there, and uh, yeah. But anyway, um, the rest of the trip. It's kind of funny. We all met up, and um, you know, me and Trainaholic, we were waiting on Taku to get there. Uh, he still had, um, he was at a ball game with his family, so uh, we're waiting on him to get back. So in the meantime, we go to a casino. I've never been gambling before, and can't take camera into the casino, so I guess you'll figure out their little tricks or something. I, I don't get it, but anyway. Um... But then we go back, we meet Nataku, and we sit around the hotel room, and everybody, the trainaholic and Nataku, was both like, hey, I got my camera, you're not the only one that's going to be getting footage. And um, nobody pulled out a camera. It was uh, it was really cool. Um, from seeing everybody, from seeing each other on the, the uh, you know, on these videos, you kind of get to know somebody. And... Um, I guess it's kind of like, you know, you you hear the um, movie stars and TV stars say that they have people that come up to them and uh, treat them like they're their character. Well, 
you know, in the, t in the TV show? Well, that's because you watch that person, and you watch that person, and you watch that person, and you get to know that person, regardless if it's an actor or not, you know, that's... But anyway, so when we got in the room, um, nobody broke out a camera because we were just sitting around shooting the shit like we were long lost friends. You know, it was uh, it was a really cool time. Um, now, luckily, when we went to go get something to eat, I brought the camera with me and threw it down on the, the table next to us or we wouldn't be getting any footage. Um... But I'm not going to show you the whole thing because we had conversations that you guys just don't need to, to know about. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it was a really cool time. Um, if you ever have the opportunity to go meet somebody that you've seen off of YouTube, do it. Uh, it, it was really cool. Um, you know, if I ever get in there next to the woods, I'll be looking them up because um, it was a really cool time. So I'm going to show you a little snippets of the um, the restaurant, and uh, that's going to be that. Um, now, this one clip that you're going to see is the back of the menu. Now, on the back of the menu, it said that they were not responsible for the... See, if it ain't a dog, a customer... It's... Okay, in this clip, you're going to see um, something that I've seen on the back of the menu. It just caught my eye. It says that they're not responsible for personal property or for the theft or the exchange of personal property or something like that. Um, so I asked the waitress, um, you know, exchange of personal property, what does that mean? I can go over and take somebody's shit and give them my shit and everything's okay? And the girl looked at me funny and I sh pointed it out on the menu and she says, well, I've never seen that before. I'll have to get the manager. Nobody had an answer for me. But it was on their menu. See, you'll see it right here. Check it out. <laughs>